Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tania and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. So if that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. For today, we are trying out some viral TikTok and YouTube, I guess, drugstore makeup that I have seen. Not all of this is new. Some of this I have been using so I can give you a bit of a review on whether I recommend it or not. Usually I prefer to do things this way just because I feel like I can really give you a solid <laughs> recommendation. But we do also have some new goodies that I'm going to be testing out in today's video. Of course, pretty much almost everything has cute pink packaging and you guys know how i do i like to find the cutely packaged makeup items and see what works what doesn't i have already applied lip balm i always always do this and i always get questions what i'm wearing i wear all different kinds a lot of the times i'm wearing my dior lip maximizer but since today's video is supposed to be a bit more affordable um, I decided to throw on my Candy Baby Gloss from Victoria's Secret. I use this all the time. This is just one of those products I like to throw in my purse. I also got my nails done. Do you guys like them? I'm obsessed. Yeah, this is just one I like to throw in my purse. I hope they're not discontinuing this. I do know they have the semi-annual sale going on right now, so you might be able to get a good deal on this, so I will link it down below. A basket of goodies here. I'm not going to go through absolutely everything, but I do want to share with you guys a PR package that I got. I wanted to share this PR package because it's so cute. I feel like it deserves a spotlight. This is from Physicians Formula. It's like a little TV, and it has their Butter Buddies collection in there. So I believe we have a pretty well-rounded like face cheek products in here like we have bronzers, highlighters, powders, uh, blushes, so well one blush so um, yeah we're going to pop this open and test out as many of these as I can for today. I believe you can find these at any drugstore but I did see them at my local HEB and I think Ulta. Oh my goodness, just look at how cute these are. I love all the pastel colors. I'm going to start off by basically prepping my face. I'm just going to moisturize. I'm using the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. This is one of my favorite face creams. When I'm not using my Elemis face cream, this is what I'm using. So I have already done the rest of my skincare, like serum, toner, and all of that. So this is basically the last step before I put on actual like makeup products and primers and stuff like that. I do apply a pretty generous amount of this. I have pretty dry skin, especially right now that it's winter time. My skin is just like, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty. So of course it wouldn't be me if I didn't have an iced coffee. I have my tumbler from Bling Brushes. I'm gonna link this tumbler down below. It is the sparkliest, prettiest thing. They do normally have makeup brushes. This is one of their brushes from their pink brush set. So I'm gonna link them down below. I have a coupon code that you guys can use if you are interested in either the brushes or the tumbler. Really quick before we get started, I wanna show you guys some of the products we're gonna be using today. We have this gorgeous pink creme shop setting powder. This literally smells like a cake. I have this stay, this Maybelline Super Stay Powder that I've heard is amazing on TikTok. Of course, for eyes, we're going to be using my new Morphe palette. This is not necessarily like drugstore, but it's affordable. It's on the drugstore side of Ulta. I figured I would use that before it gets discontinued so I can link it and you guys can see it in action and grab it if you like it. I also got these two new Milani lip products these are the her color fetish matte lipsticks i've heard such amazing things about these and i can't wait to try them so have some milani complexion products that are very very raved about on tiktok these are this is their cream foundation and then their conceal and perfect concealer okay let's go ahead and get started so of course we're going to start out with the eyes with the morphe palette and normally i like to start out with the eyes when i'm using a new palette because you never know you never know what's going to happen so this this is the color story right here it is so stunning i'm obsessed with this palette like every time i look at it it makes me want to do my makeup i'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes i'm using this pretty vulgar primer i don't think this is drugstore i think this is pricier but i don't have a drugstore eyeshadow primer at the moment so i'm gonna go ahead and use this or at least not one that i like really love eyes are primed i'm gonna get a look closer just so you guys can really see these shadows at work also because i'm closer i will also be louder because i'm closer to the mic so 
Um, I just love that eyeshadow primer. I would highly recommend it. I picked out some brushes here that we're going to be using and let's get started. Start off with the color going somewhere and I'm going to put this like a halo around the eye and you guys will see exactly what I mean when I do it. Taking this SL Ms. Glam brush, this is in Boss Babe BB7. So it's like a precise blending brush, which is what I want. It's quite a bit like smaller than like a normal eyeshadow blending brush i'm gonna start in the center and this is going to literally go all around the eye like a halo this palette is definitely a dupe for the well maybe not an exact dupe in formulation but the colors are exactly like the charlotte tilbury pillow talk palette i did a tiktok on it which I will link down below so you guys can see it if you are interested. Focusing too much on blending, I'm kind of just trying to pack that shadow in there. Taking a fluffier blending brush, this is an SL Ms. Glam PG34 from Recline Candy Set. I'm going to go in and blend this shadow out, just buff it all out. And one thing that I like about these shadows is that they don't wither away when you blend them. I have that issue a lot with more inexpensive shadows or like drugstore shadows that you can't pack pigment like this and blend it out and expect it to be as intense. It just it does not work that way because they're more powdery and drier. But the these Morphe shadows in this palette, which I hadn't bought a Morphe palette in such a long time, but I am pleasantly surprised with these. They actually blend out nicely. The pigment is there. It doesn't wither away when you blend it. I really, really recommend this palette. I have been using it for about a week already, and it is honestly so good. So can we appreciate the fact that these all have shade names? I really love that. Next, I'm going to take the color Epic Edge right here, and we're going to deepen up that halo even more. I'm taking the same brush, by the way. I'm not switching brushes. I'm just going to lightly tap that color. And I'm going to start on the outer part and I'm pulling it inwards like this. So we're not making a mess. It's not going out here at all. Just kind of hugging the eyeball. And then slowly I'm blending it around. And I'm just, I'm very slowly deepening up. But I'm not making it as dark on the inner part as it is on the outer part. I'm making sure that the most pigment from that shadow is on the outer part going towards the middle and then kind of withering away in the inner part. Take the big brush again and blend. I'm even going to tap back into going somewhere just a little bit just to help blend that and just to help pull the color up a bit so we're using more space here which you can totally not do if you have smaller eyelid space in that case i would say just blend but totally up to you this palette is amazing i'm telling you guys if you can get your hands on this palette before they take it off because i know it's like a holiday palette Please do so. It's still available on the Ulta website. $25. Like, you just you can't beat it. It has so many colors. You know this is going to be a go-to palette for me for this year. If you want it, grab it because you will be seeing this again here on my channel. I'm going to go ahead and work on the other eye and do the same and we'll be our beat. But first, coffee. What about deepening up more? But I actually really like this depth and this was only two shadows just two of them which is impressive usually I put like three or even four colors in my crease and this just did it for me like this is exactly what I was going for the next color I'm gonna put is actually a very soft like pinky shimmery color this is called let me just show you eyes wide trust or what does it say strut <laughs> eyes wide strut and we're gonna take this on my finger and we're gonna pop that right into the center there center here and when i tell you guys these shadows have so much pigment i'm not even kidding like i was gonna use a color pop super shock shadow because i have some new ones but i think 
I think I want to just use the palettes and we'll save the super shock shadows for another time because this this is intense this is as intense as I wanted so we're just gonna pop that there and we're gonna blend here in just a second and these are very very soft and smooth and they're like the perfect I guess like shimmery metallic-y kind of colors I feel like if I wet it it would even be more intense but this is pretty intense I think so I'm gonna take our fluffy brush and we're gonna blend out any harsh edges and I'm even gonna take a little bit of that brown and just kind of go back over it some Honestly, guys, I had not bought a Morphe palette in a while because I had a few duds and that I got rid of. And I don't know, just ever since, I just lost interest in buying Morphe palettes. But this makes me want to go pick up, like, every single Morphe palette at Ulta right now. Which, obviously, I'm not going to do. But amazing palette. Amazing. I have really fallen in love with Morphe shadows. I remember I used to be obsessed with them back, like, five years ago. And now... I mean, these are really nice, like really nice shadows for the price. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take a little flat liner brush. This is a Sigma flat definer brush in E15. I'm going to take the color Smoke Show, which is like a very deep, almost black brown here. And we're going to press that onto the lash line and we're going to make it a little thicker on the outer edge. Okay. And if you guys haven't noticed, there has been no fallout so far, so that's also very impressive for how pigmented these shadows are. Usually when you're paying a lower price tag and the shadows are really, really pigmented, you get quite a bit of fallout. And this one, this is a palette I would pay $50 or $60 for, I'm just saying. I'm so surprised no one is talking about this Morphe palette. I know that most of the products in this video are supposed to be like hyped up products, but this palette is not one that I feel like has been hyped up. I feel like this palette is one that I'm hyping up. So I don't know if I'm gonna apply false lashes. I think I might just because the look is so dramatic. You guys know I kind of like have my moods. Like sometimes I wanna do falsies, sometimes I like just my normal lashes, like my natural lashes. Okay, these are the color pop shadows that I have that are new. Um they have these at Ulta. I know they're not new, like new to color pop, but color pop comes up with new things every day, so I don't I can't keep up. But the pink one is called Bubbly and this one is called Fine Pearl. Again, we're not gonna use these today, but hopefully, you know what? We could pop some of this pink one. We could. Let's just do it. Let's try it out. You guys already saw how the Morphe one works, so let's play in makeup. Why not? I love the packaging of these, like the nude and the pink little containers. Like, this is so cute. I actually grabbed two of those. I'll show you the other one. So I pretty much grabbed all of these. This is a different collection. Not sure what it is. It has like animal print it looks like and then this one has like floral on it and then this one is the same collection as this other one so like i said this one is fine pearl and then the other one i got is called pledge class which is more of a gold it's pink as well like the packaging but it's more of like a nude pink and this one is called poly so this is poly right here and then bubbly so do i want to use poly or bubbly let's swatch them we have poly and bubbly i think i'm gonna do bubbly because that's kind of the tone that i'm going for i'm going for more of a cool tone so i'm just gonna pop some of that on the lid with my finger oh my gosh yes that's so pretty so I'm doing a little, little hint of it. It definitely made it a bit pinker because of those glitters that are in it, I guess. Like, it's like glitter. Super pretty. Okay, I'll do the same on the other eye. Was it necessary? No, but it definitely, I don't know, turned it up a notch. It gave it a little something, something extra. Love playing with 
like shimmery shadows and ColourPop just has the best cream shadows like the super shock shadows are some of my favorites i've always loved loved them i feel like this didn't do that color pop shadow that much justice i feel like we got to try with a different look and using it on its own but i do like it i'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and apply mascara and then we'll see if i want to like go in and apply falsies so for eyelash curler i'm using this tweezer men curler this is rose gold i hauled this in an ulta haul recently and i love this eyelash curler i know this is kind of pricey for the drugstore these are the priciest eyelash curlers at the drugstore but i love them and i love that they come with extra little sponges as well for mascara i decided to pick up this mascara again because you guys told me to pick up the blue one i believe i can't remember which one i had picked up i think it was just the original you guys told me to try the waterproof one because the issue with me and mascaras is that it tends to smudge in my inner corners or like right underneath because i have pretty long bottom lashes i fixed my white balance because it kept changing so if you notice that in this video and in my chatty wedding video that is why i'm so annoyed <laughs> it's okay though it's okay we fixed it we're learning this camera with this lens and like the new settings i figured out on my camera it's been a journey but anyway you guys told me to pick up the lash princess mascara because my lashes are so long that they touch the bottom of my eye and it, it like leaves little marks if i don't use the right mascara the only mascara i've found that works for me is the gucci mascara i'm very picky with mascara i don't find mascaras often so i decided to pick up the lash princess false lash effect waterproof mascara once again because you guys told me to try the waterproof one i had only ever tried their original one before and i did not love it um just because of that smudging reason so i'm gonna curl my lashes all right so now we're gonna take the essence lash princess mascara once again let's give it another shot and here's the thing i do love how the mascara looks it's just the smudging part that i can't get on board with because it makes me look tired when mascaras smudge in my inner corners i tend to do this super fast blinking and combing motion with my mascaras because it helps lift and curl do you see that and then in the end i go in and do this and just so you guys know a little trick i do is i don't when i do this i don't always like go all the way to the bottom i just literally add it to the top of the lashes like the middle to the top to elongate them i've been getting a lot of questions on what i do for my lashes to look this long because we all know my lashes did not look like this a year ago <laughs> uh that which is why i would wear falsies and i started doing a lash serum i use the grand date lash serum i'll link it down below sorry that it's not necessarily like a drugstore recommendation because this is a drugstore video but it has literally changed my lashes and I love it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get into complexion. And again, I'm not gonna decide if I want lashes yet. I'm gonna wait till the whole look is done. This is usually what I do is I will do the entire look and if I feel cute without falsies, I'll just leave out the falsies. But uh, if I'm going out though, like if it's like a nighttime thing, like a girl's night or a date night, I do like to pop on some falsies, but we're not going anywhere today we're just kind of testing out this makeup so i'm gonna go ahead and prime my face i have this new wet and wild impros impossible <laughs> what <laughs> impossible guys i'm over here making up words impossible primer and of course i picked this up because it's pink i mean obviously but i also heard tati raving about this uh quite a bit i do watch makeup videos you guys it's one of the things that i do love to watch i love watching makeup videos and organize organizing videos which is i guess what my channel heavily revolved around so she does say that this is like a, a tacky-ish primer but also pore filling which is interesting because i've never seen those two in one primer before but this is what the consistency looks like so it is pore filling i'm gonna like press it Ooh, it's strangely hydrating it kind of reminds me of like the 
I don't know, like the Silk Tatcha, the, the liquidy one. But this is more tacky and more hydrating, I feel like. This is thicker. It's obviously thicker. The, the Tatcha one is like very thin. That feels really, really, really good. I feel like this is really going to grip my makeup. I love, love how this primer feels. And it's like kind of tacky. I don't know if you guys can tell. Really like it. I was going to scoot back for the complexion part, but I feel like... I feel like this is a good frame, like, all around. A lot of you guys were complimenting my background, by the way. Thank you, thank you. One of you guys suggested I put my neon sign above my sofa because I had a cat, like a canvas up there, which was a beautiful canvas, and it made the room look so, so elegant, but I thought, you know what? The sign would look so dope in the back of my videos. Let's put it up there, even if it's not forever. And honestly, it looks so good that I love it. It just like creates a whole vibe in this room that I love being in here. I mean, I love being in here before, but now it's like, it's a vibe in here. Like, I just want to get glam. I just want to get ready. Like, I don't know. It's definitely motivated me for the new year. Now that we've let that kind of set in, it's still kind of tacky. It did dry down a bit matte. I can see why it's pore filling. Like, it's not the most hydrating primer, but it's not matte either it's like weird i mean it didn't like visibly fill my pores but that's because it's clear so it probably did but i just can't see it yet we'll see it when i put foundation on okay, we are gonna go in with the milani conceal and perfect smooth finish cream foundation i love me a cream foundation these are some of my favorites for my skin type this is in the shade creamy natural 220 okay i'm gonna take this Too faced foundation brush um i got this for free with like a qvc purchase so if you like this cute little Too Faced brush and you want to buy something Too Faced, check QVC. I'll link it down below because they a lot of the times include these brushes for free when you buy from them or like they include them in like a bundle. I'm going to take it like that and I do like using a foundation brush for this because it just gets the foundation on better, I guess. I really forgot to wet my beauty sponge. This always always happens so i actually have some new beauty sponges i know you guys saw me try these elf sponges before and i, I just replaced mine because the cats got a hold of them so i have these i know i do like both of these i normally use this one for my face and this one for my concealer but i saw these new ones oh one of them just fell out i saw these new ones and i decided to try them out and they're also pink which i like way better than the maroon one but the maroon one works so good so that's why i always buy it again and again so i'm gonna go wet these and i'll be right back we're back with foundation still weirdly on my face but we wet them and it got pretty large this is so so bouncy i feel like elf has just mastered creating beauty blender dupes like these are just like a beauty blender like if i were to have a beauty blender in the other hand it would probably feel the exact same i don't buy beauty blenders anymore because they're too expensive and there's too many good alternatives um but yeah elf has my favorite beauty sponges at the drugstore they are only five or six dollars i think that pack of three i just showed you was twelve dollars i believe use a sponge on this side to blend blend it out but i honestly think we're gonna go in with a brush just because i do prefer a brush with the cream because yeah this really like took away a lot of the coverage so yeah i think we're gonna use a brush instead again i've heard really good things about this cream foundation and i my skin loves cream products i will say this as i'm applying it it feels like i'm not putting anything on it's very 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 lightweight this is like i think what the dream matte mousse wishes it could have been <laughs> you guys remember that one i literally found a tumblr post the other day where I posted like makeup products that I was loving <laughs> and that Dream Matte Mousse foundation was in it and I was like, it makes my skin so smooth, it's so amazing. <laughs> yeah, no, that that foundation was tragic. <laughs> Look like I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> I'm taking a bling brush in F3 and this is my favorite foundation brush that I have in my collection and especially for cream products this is my favorite like cream product brush 
it just does such a good job and it just fits nicely everywhere so if you don't get like a whole bling brush set but you want like recommendations which brushes to get because they do sell these in singles i would say this one is definitely a must have even if you just get one brush just because you want one blinged brush i would say get this one the f3 i am like impressed with the coverage of this i thought it wasn't gonna cover just because the foundation and like i said i have tried it one other time but i just don't remember what i thought because it was it was like a quick one and done type of day and i was just like oh let's throw this on and then i didn't really look at it throughout the day or worry or care about it but i'm very impressed with the coverage it's definitely like a medium coverage because you can still see my moles kind of poking through a little bit the finish of this is really really pretty like my skin looks like my skin but better does that make sense it looks good looks really good <laughs> it was raved about a lot on tiktok so that's why i picked it up go ahead and apply some concealer this is the milani conceal perfect i've heard amazing amazing things about this concealer the one drugstore concealer i like is the elf camo concealer but i don't love it like i like it i don't love it so we'll see how this one works oh no i see that kind of breaking up on my nose but i wonder if it's because of the brush like the brush strokes I'm not loving that foundation on my nose. No, because I love it all over the rest of my face. I really want to love these products because the products that I do love are so expensive that I want drugstore alternatives so that I can wear on a daily basis so that I don't, I'm not using like my Chanel products every single day. You know what I mean? Because, you know, that stuff is expensive and. I'd rather save for a special occasion. So I'm going to put concealer down my nose. Hopefully that will help my nose some. I don't know. Maybe I just needed to exfoliate because the nose is always a little tricky. So my first impression of this as I'm applying it is it's lightweight. It's very soft. It has that same like kind of fluffy feeling. I don't know how to explain it, but it feels fluffy to me. How I don't know how else to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and start blending would assume these are gonna work well together because they're both milani so and they are they're blending into each other sometimes with cream foundations it's annoying because some cream foundations like they don't blend well with other products because the emollients can be different like some foundations are water-based some are oil-based some are just different silicone based like it just depends and if your products are not all the same base basically they're not going to blend well together and that's the issue with some cream foundations that once you start applying products on top of it it kind of starts picking up that product off of your face so i feel like brands though have kind of mastered that in 2021 because creams have just been just very trendy and i feel like everybody's using a cream foundation or a cream bronzer or a cream blush Concealer looks very smooth. Could this be a dupe for my hourglass concealer? Let me know if you guys want me to do like a dupes video where I test products side by side that I think might be dupes. Finish of it reminds me a lot of hourglass and the coverage. And it feels very lightweight like the like the hourglass one. I'm like, what was I saying? Will it wear like the hourglass one? That's the real question. From what it looks like it does crease though <laughs> but that's to be expected it's a very rare day when i find a concealer that doesn't crease badly on me i feel like the hourglass the born this way and the pat mcgrath one are the ones that crease the least on me and honestly for a drugstore concealer this creases a lot less than the than the elf one the elf one creases quite a bit i normally do like to add a bit of a boost so i'm gonna add just a tiny bit more here I'm going with my ysl to chaclot normally but we're not going to do that in this video because this is not a high-end video but i love the ysl to chaclot i usually place a little more right here because that's kind of where my eyes set in and it helps just bring them back out i'm being so informative in this video like hey guys what's up how are you 
I'm not being so chatty because I feel like I want to really review the products and focus on that, but I like this concealer so far. We haven't said it yet, but so far I like this concealer. The nose, actually, the concealer helped it a lot. The color I used, which I didn't even mention. Sorry, guys, I'm a bad makeup YouTuber. Light Vanilla 120 with my Powder Puff now. And I get these cute little powder puffs on Amazon, so I'll link them down below. These are so perfect for underneath the eyes. Of course, it's pink. The Creme Shop powder that I, I know I do like this. This is more matte than I normally wear. Um, normally, I like the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, but I have already shown you guys this in a video, but I do really, really recommend this. But I really want to try this Creme Shop one. This is not overly hyped on TikTok. I'm overly hyping it because I've been using it and I really, really like it. And it, like I said, it is more matte than I normally would wear. But it looks so good and it's not drying. Go in. And I like to press it. I'm going to take a bling brush and I'm just going to push away the excess. And I forgot to cream contour. We're going to do that after I set the under eyes. I just get very frustrated because my under eyes crease. So I have to set them right, right away. And keep in mind, I have to apply a little bit because I'm dry. I have set the under eyes so that they stop creasing. I'm going to go ahead and do some cream bronzer. This product is also overly hyped, but also it's not new. And you've probably heard of it before and i have used it before on my channel this is the wet and wild contour stick this is i swear one of the best cream contours at the drugstore if you like a stick if you like more of a cream that's in a pot i recommend the elf putty bronzer that works amazing as well but this is so good it's only four dollars i use the color 805 and this is definitely like a neutral color. I always put it higher than what, where I would contour, I guess. I don't know. I always do that to kind of lift the face. I put it around my, my mouth, my nose, and I don't go crazy on the forehead, but I do put some on the forehead as well. And I always do this this kind of lifts the eye the neck we're gonna go in and blend that out i i'm gonna use a brush for that i can't get with blending contour with a sponge am i the only one i just don't like blending contour with a sponge for some reason so i'm just taking that same bling brush that i use to blend out the foundation and because it has leftover foundation on it it's gonna help blend gonna help blend it and you guys know if you're a beginner cream contour can be a bit scary so doing this really helps with the intimidating part of cream bronzer using whatever brush you use for your foundation if you use the sponge and i guess you could use a sponge but i'm not a fan of using a sponge for cream bronzer for some reason i don't know why I think it has to do with how I learned to do makeup, like when I first learned to do makeup, especially on clients. I would use a stippling brush to blend my contour. It was by MAC. I think it was called a 280 or 208 or something. can't remember. But ever since then, I just cannot use a beauty blender to blend contour. I started doing makeup around the times where in a beauty blender, it like barely made its like debut in the world <laughs> like i used to not use a beauty blender like i did not know of a beauty blender i learned how to do makeup without one and then it was introduced so the reason why you guys see i'm so like brush heavy i love makeup brushes is because it's the og way that i learned to do my makeup i'm using the sponge to blend this out so that my forehead does not look too bronzed and of course, I'm not going to do that with the brush because this is loaded with product right now. Looking at the concealer, and so far so good, but I'm really loving this cream foundation. For the nose, I'm going to take the brush I use for the foundation, and it's kind of the same thing. It's going to help blend it out without it looking too crazy. And if you guys don't know the nose, like you don't want to 
blend that bronzer down too much because then it makes your nose look whiter actually so you want to keep the product where it's at and just wither it away like that i mean i'm sure you guys have seen those reels and tiktoks where they're like nope 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 exactly and i always see it with nose contours for some reason it's like nose contour is that thing everybody struggles with i guess i've never been a big nose contour person but on a good day if i'm feeling it and i really want to take my time and do my makeup and really look snatched i will go in and basically contour my nose i'm just using a sponge to go over everything very big on blending so i'm gonna try the translucent glow first which is this cute mint green and it has this cute little face on it and i'm just gonna take this um bling brush in f5 another brush i would recommend if you're not going to buy the entire set i would recommend you get this first thing i noticed is it is very powdery like it really does kick up a lot of product so do not drop these because they when products are like this they more than likely will break easily oh wow it has kind of a white cast but it is glowy you have to blend it in obviously but i feel like it has kind of a white cast but yeah i can see how it's not completely matte do you see that it like definitely looks glowy that's kind of nice i don't hate it very excited to try the banana powder i love trying brightening things underneath my eyes i am actually gonna go in with a powder puff for this that's what i would normally use and we're gonna press it underneath the eyes oh no there's a lot of creasing happening underneath my eyes i don't know if it's the powder or the concealer i feel like it's the concealer because i've used that powder with other oh, wow that really did brighten i've used that concealer with or that powder with other concealers and it did not do this but i also do have stubborn under eyes but the concealer looks so good everywhere else you know what let's try it to do this oh that's nice it's subtle but nice you know that kind of helped those creases that i had going on it kind of helped them here's the difference before or after what do you like better before or after i don't know yet i guess we can try the translucent one on the other eye i'm gonna get a clean powder puff i just have a bunch of these powder puffs it's just so cute okay and we're gonna take the translucent powder and i'm a bit scared because my eyes dry up quick so i'm gonna start here oh that leaves a very white cast okay you definitely have to blend that in you know what i think this would be better with a brush because i think the sponge packs on a bit too much and leaves a bit of a wider cast but hey if you're trying to brighten with this i think you could let me do a little bit right in here yeah i think yeah this is brightening you could brighten with that as well but i do prefer the banana one i think I also did like the glowy one. Take the Physicians Formula Bronzer Buddies Bron Butter Buddies Bronzer. Sorry, you guys. Looks like it looks like a nice neutral warm shade, so I'm excited for that. So I'm gonna take an angled bling brush. This is in F4, and this one has a lot less kick up than the other ones, so I'm hoping that's a good sign because I do prefer a more buttery, soft kind of a bronzer. I feel like it just blends better. So here's what that looks like. Nice color. That's the perfect bronzer color for me. So I really like it. I don't think they have other shades in this bronzer, which is a bummer. That's definitely a negative. But this is nice. And they do have their butter bronzers, which are also really, really nice. I just want to, like, touch it. it yeah, it feels kind of soft, but it's not that pigmented. But it looks more pigmented on the face than swatching it. So we're going to apply a bit more. And I really did pack my brush. So this is going to be one of those bronzers where it's 
kind of user friendly like you can't really do too much like i really loaded the brush up and that's what we got so it's not the most highly pigmented but this is a good everyday bronzer i feel like i normally do prefer bronzers like this anyway like the dior the dior natural bronze oh my gosh it's one of my favorite bronzers and this is exactly how it works as well like it does not pack a punch of pigment but it does a really beautiful job bronzing quite like this bronzer so we're gonna take take it down the neck like a bronzer it really did warm up the face this color is definitely not the warmest but it's one of my favorite color bronzers i feel like i could have even used the stippling brush for this to really add color to the face but it's okay i think out of everything so far i like the bronzer the best and then the banana powder would come in second the illuminating powder it looks nice honestly yeah this bronzer reminds me of a high-end bronzer really does i really like it the so time for some blush i'm going to use a powder blush today because we have this adorable little butter buddies blush and this is in the color rosy and this is so darn cute and this color is really really pretty it actually it feels quite soft as well when i touch it um but let's go ahead and dig into it oh okay this one is quite powdery it feels smooth to the touch but like it really picked up a lot of color on that brush i'm scared Okay, I'm definitely glad I took off some off of the brush. This is very pigmented. You want blush, girl. This is going to be it. This is blush. A pretty color, though. I like the color of it. The very last one we have is an illuminator. This is in Golden Nude, and this is a Butter Buddies highlighter. And straight off the bat, like this... Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's quite pigmented it also feels a bit powdery but it looks so beautiful saw how intense that swatch was so we're going to take the highlighter the butter buddies highlighter in golden nude and we're i'm gonna like barely like look how much pigment i i barely tapped it like we're gonna do the other side so you can see barely tapping it intense so i'm gonna go in and whoa okay that's that's intense so let's do this side so i'm not gonna go too crazy with it i think the nose is already kind of intense i there we go tone it down a little bit oh my gosh it's so pretty though but it's definitely one of those like blinding wet glow kind of highlighters so if you're not into that you're not gonna like this but i do personally like it this is a really good night out highlighter you know this is something i would wear for the nighttime i mean i don't know maybe the daytime as well but maybe tone it down a little more so i'm gonna take some of that in the inner corners that's a beautiful inner corner highlight shadow liner and stuff underneath the eyes i don't know why this just got so blue i'm gonna go in with the la girls gel liner this is not my favorite but right now this is the only drugstore eyeliner that i have this does tend to smudge a little bit so i'm probably going to be setting it with a little bit of eyeshadow um but we're gonna take this in tight line and put it in the waterline as well I will say though, it is very smooth and easy to apply. I'm telling you guys, this liner is intense. It's so, so good. But I cannot put it near the inner corners because it smudges inside of my tear duct in here. So I try to keep it just kind of here and I try not to push it in too far just so that we don't get any smudges because it does last a long time. Let's put on some mascara down there and then we'll move on to brows and then lips. Going in with the Lash Princess Mascara and I just ugh, got some in my inner corner. Darn it. I'm going to let it dry and just flake it off here in just a second. Hard to film doing your makeup. Like, have you guys ever tried filming yourself doing your makeup? Because it's no joke. But this mascara is like amazing on the lower lashes. And I think we're not going to do falsies because I'm really loving my lashes today. So we are going to let 
my natural lashes shine for the day nyx brow glue here and then i have this nyx brow pencil the color that i got in the pencil is in brunette and this is just clear obviously so we're going to apply this i have been using this and i have actually been liking this i'm not really a fluffy brow kind of girl i tried to get into it it's just i don't know i feel like it, i have strong facial features and doing a fluffy brow just made them too strong <laughs> so yeah i not my thing so i kind of just fluff just the front and then the rest i just tame them and i do like using stuff like this because i have very very annoying eyebrows and they're just very thick and hard to tame so this nyx brow gel has just been amazing and i do like this more than the anastasia brow freeze and that says a lot because i was using the anastasia brow freeze for a hot minute and i loved it at first and then i noticed it kind of leaves residue on my eyebrows and i did not like that so I do go in and take the end of the tube and I use it to press my brows. It just kind of helps laminate them a little bit. And then I go in with a brow pencil. Usually it's my Benefit Precisely My Brow, but for today we're going to use this, this one in brunette because I've heard amazing things about this brow pencil and I'm excited because it's way cheaper than the ones I normally get. I either get the Anastasia Brow Wiz or I get the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. So having a nice drugstore alternative will be good for every day so that I don't use up my brow pencil because I go through brow pencils like crazy. I do my brows. I don't do much. I just kind of outline them and make sure that they look uniform and put together. When I get to the front, I kind of pull outwards just so that the hairs don't go back. So I like to do this and then we go in and fill it and then I do the tail of my brow. I keep it kind of natural and soft and not too dark because I already have pretty strong eyebrows. These lipsticks by Milani have gotten all the hype on TikTok. And look at this. It's so pretty. This is in the color Peony. You guys know peonies are my favorite flowers, so that's exciting and really pretty pink. And I also got a red because, as you guys know, if I'm not wearing pink lips or nude lips, I'm wearing red lips, and I usually don't do anything in between. I have two lip liners by Juvia's Place. Uh, if I wear the red, I'll use this Lux liner in brownie. But if I do the pink, I'll use this one in Sweet Nothing. And try on the Peony shade. I heard these are like one swipe and like it's on so this is normally the kind of lip color i would wear with a look this dramatic but hey red also looks really nice but i would only do a red with this eye look if i was going out at night where it has a moussey texture to it it's a really pretty pink like you would think it would be brighter because of the packaging but it's very wearable line my lips already i really wish that i would have had a more red lip liner i am still going to go around and conceal it because when i do a dark lip it's just a lot more work so i definitely only do it whenever i'm feeling in the mood or going somewhere so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this red very smooth okay i definitely see the hype with these i feel like they're just really comfortable on the lips um they're not necessarily okay it's not like my gucci lipstick right of course how are we going to compare that <laughs> to a ten dollar lipstick but it's not like weightless like that one where you don't feel like you're wearing it but it is very very comfortable and i feel like if you blot off the excess it does look matte and if you blot off the excess it also feels a lot a lot more lightweight as well and it's a very pretty red this is the red i would reach for this is like my kind of red i don't like reds that are too blue i don't like reds that are too coral um i don't like reds that are that lean too fuchsia so this is a true true red i hadn't blotted my lips 
You can see it's a little more matte. It does make a little difference. So I'm going to go in and do setting spray and do my little trick that I do to make my skin look smooth. You guys will see. I'm going to take my NYX Plump Finish spray with electrolytes. I actually really like this. I've been using it recently and it does the job, you guys. It looks really nice and it's not drying and it feels really, really good on the skin. So this is what I do to get like a smoother... I guess skin look for videos. I mean this already looks pretty good, but it's about to look better So I'm gonna cover my eyes You're gonna let it dry for a minute or so and then you're gonna take your setting powder I'm using the creme shop one This is ultra matte translucent and this smells like a literal cake I think I already said that and then you're gonna want to take your powder puff and I'm gonna get some of this powder and I don't want to overly powder so I like to warm it up on my hand and I'm gonna take that powder that I just warmed up on my hand and we're gonna press it into the skin look at the difference so we're just gonna do this basically on the forehead which is I feel like one of the most important places that need to look smooth in a video for some reason it just looks so satisfying when you're forehead is actually smooth and I try not to go over my highlight usually I actually do this and then I put my highlight but I just kind of it slept on it because we were trying those new products so I'm just gonna do a very small amount right in the inner corner of the eye if you have any problem areas that crease like smile lines you will want to apply it there as well those of you that keep asking that's how I get my skin to look so smooth for videos you guys that's everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down below which product was your favorite or if you'll be picking any of these cute products up you guys know i love finding things that work well but that are also packaged pretty because i like when i open my makeup drawers to feel inspired to do my makeup that's kind of my thing i don't know about you guys but that's kind of why i love luxury products um it, it's all part of the experience to me i know sometimes that price tag is not something everybody can do so that's why i also like to try some drugstore goodies and because girl we can all save some money myself included I'm happy i feel like i found some products i really liked i feel like this video went pretty smoothly so let's see if i have any feedback so obsessed with that foundation like i can see the hype i can see why people love it the lipstick as well the palette i feel like Everything worked really, really flawlessly together in the end. It really came together. Even that Milani concealer that I thought was creasing a little too much, I feel like in the end it just... It kind of worked. It's still a little creasy. Again, it's not going to be my favorite concealer, okay? It's just I'm too used to my Hourglass and Pat McGrath, so it's, it's going to be hard to top those. I'm very picky with my concealer, but as far as everything else goes i feel like i look so flawless this is a good makeup day in my opinion there's no creasing no nothing um the only thing is my nose is still struggling you guys but i wonder if that's because i need to exfoliate or if it's the foundation or the powder or what it is but something is not working on my nose but everywhere else i feel like i look flawless I'm really surprised with that lash princess mascara you guys told me to give it another shot i'm kind of glad that i did i'm hoping that it's not going to like transfer anywhere or smudge anywhere so far so good um usually by now it would have already transferred it happens because i apply it and before it dries down i just have very long bottom lashes that it just like pokes at the bottom but i tried to be very careful this time and it has not smudged and nothing has smudged at all and i had to stop for a couple of hours in between to let my batteries charge for my camera so that says a lot because usually after two hours of wearing a mascara or an eyeliner i see smudging already so this is already an improvement as well as with the eyeliner i decided to give it another shot i was already going to Throw it in the trash, girlfriend, because the last time I wore that LA Girl eyeliner, it just smudged everywhere in the inner part of my eye. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to try it again, but I'm going to try not to get it that close to the inner part of my eye. And actually, I feel like this works. And that eyeliner is so, so good. I also feel like the next time when I do want to get it closer to my eyes, I might just kind of hold it a little bit just to make sure that the liner dries down. Of course, sometimes you're going to have to work a little more with products that are a little bit more budget-friendly, but 
but I'm totally okay with that because for the price you just cannot beat this beat this beat is so good and I actually ended up liking the red lip so I kept it on and I'm very impressed with that Milani lipstick as it sat on my lips it feels a lot more weightless it feels a lot more comfortable when I first applied it I definitely felt the lipstick on my lips and now I feel like it's it's still there, but it's not as heavy as it felt when I first applied it. So to me, it's all about the feeling of the makeup as well. Right now, my face feels pretty good. I have an itch on my nose. My face feels pretty good. This cream foundation is not going to be as weightless as, let's say, my Chanel CC cream. But I don't need it to be for the coverage and the how flawless it looks. I don't need it to be super, super weightless. It might also have to do with all the powder I put on because we tried on so much powder. From the Physicians Formula Butter products, my favorite product was the bronzer and the banana powder. The blush is okay. I feel like I have better blushes. The translucent powder cast a little bit too much of a white cast on my face, um, but it's better applied with a brush. I did like the illuminating powder also, so I think that comes in third place. So that's my review of all of these goodies. I will be using these time and time again, and I will be doing a favorites video at the end of January to update you guys on what I liked. So I know only my real MVPs stay until the end, so one, I want to leave you guys with a little positive quote at the end of the video. This is something that I read over and over again. I have this saved to my phone, and it says, when you feel like stopping, think about why you started. And because I I, I've been doing YouTube for a very, very long time, so I relate to this quote a lot. There are a lot of discouraging moments. There are a lot of times when I am just not feeling like popping on camera. Truth be told, it just gets that way. And you know, normally, actually my sanctuary, like once I do end up sitting behind the camera and turning it on, I realize how much I needed to get on here. So funny because no matter how long you've been doing this for, it just, I don't feel like it ever really gets any easier. But you know, it is very rewarding to do what I do and I'm so grateful to be here and every single time I feel like I don't feel like filming or I feel like I want to just not do anything all day. I read that quote and I'm like, think about why you started. Let me tell you guys, if you give yourself that quote every single time you're trying to reach a goal or accomplish something, even if you're in college, whatever it may be, think about why you started. And I swear to you guys, it will help you get through that day and push through and get what you need to do done. So yeah, hopefully that motivates and inspires you. If you stayed until the end, leave me a little red lip emoji right here in the comment section. If you want to see more affordable products on my channel, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so that I can see. And lastly, if you have not yet, go follow me on Instagram. I will link it down below. All right, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.